Ever since I finished my Animal Crossing Island, I've been wanting to get to work on decorating some of my villagers' houses. I have decorated a bunch of my villagers' houses in the past. I will link a playlist in case you're interested. And since my Stardew video is taking a lot longer to edit than I originally anticipated, I figured I would just throw this in the mix real quick. If you're wondering how you can even decorate your villagers' houses on your Animal Crossing Island, I do have a video where I explain it, but you need to reach a certain progression in Happy Home Paradise, and then Tom Nook will let you actually edit and change the villager houses on your island. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It's like one of my favorite features. No big deal. Also, we're a lot wider today. The camera lens is different. We're trying something new. I, You know what? I don't love that you can like see my nose hairs when you're that close to me and my previous angle. I'm also super close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you are not already subscribed, I really, really recommend that you do. If you love Stardew, Animal Crossing, um, cute fun games and things. If you're a cute fun gamer and you're not subscribed to List the Last, um, what are you doing? No, but I really appreciate all of the support thus far and it would mean the world to me to get over that 100,000 humps so feel free to subscribe if you're interested. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our crossing. So this is the yard of Norma and Gail. Norma and Gail are gay, LGBT, and they are together and live a beautiful little cottage core life kind of nearby um, a little farm that I have on my island. And I will be ignoring that balloon because I actually don't have a slingshot come for me. But I figured that we could work on Norma's house today. I would really like to do something cottage core and cute and of course we want to make it super pink so um, I mean Norma's here let me go ahead and say hello see she's pink she kind of is you know a cottage core vibe to me because she's a cow <laughs> and she kind of lives near a farm I don't know you know what I'm gonna give her a gift I don't know what this gift is I'm assuming it's some sort of fossil oh here we go it is an archaeopteryx yes and I I hope that you um, love it forever and never get rid of it. And if I catch you re-gifting, there will be hell to pay. Oh, and a dotted raincoat, cute. You know what, Norma does give me a pretty good gift, so I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead and get inside of resident services and get to decorating her house. 9,000 bells and he's gonna give me some miles when I'm done, thank God. <laughs> I ran out of miles while doing my island, so I had to trade a lot towards the end because I couldn't buy things like lamp posts and other miscellaneous objects. It was it was a nightmare. Now then, did you want to start with the home's interior or its exterior? I actually don't plan on changing her exterior at all. I think it's perfectly fine. So I'm just going to work on the interior and it'll give me an option to change the exterior towards the end, but I'm just not even going to do it. Her house is already nice and pink and pretty and it looks great the way that it is. And wow, this is what we're working with. She is, you know, kind of emulating that cottage core vibe. Um, but of course, this is this is not it. This is not the moment. So we're going to go ahead and just wipe it clean, clean slate. Something else to note is that you cannot change the size of the villager houses on your island. So you are stuck with this size, which I don't really mind. Honestly, I like that it's nice and small and um, it gives me a little bit of like a constraint to work with. Now I will be picking my wallpaper and flooring off camera, so I'll be back in a jiffy. This is what I've picked out. Um, I'm not sure if I like totally love it. Right now the rose wall is actually the accent wall. I originally picked this one for the entire wall and I thought, wow, that's kind of a lot. So I picked this other one, don't know what they're called, sorry. I picked this other one as the main wall because I kind of liked how the wood tones went together. It's not set in stone, definitely not, but I didn't want to be too plain about it. And then also also, the flooring is subject to change as well, but this is kind of what we're going to start with. We got a lot of really good stuff in terms of cottage core, like this ranch collection. She is going to be used and abused here for sure. And I don't know what color to do. Um, I'm tempted to do like the white or even the pink. I don't know how much pink is too pink. It is a very tough decision, but I'm going to try white and see if maybe that helps it feel a little more clean in here. And then, oh my God, this ranch tea table, which is like a dining table kind of with the little pink thing on top yes yes she's going in i'm starting to kind of regret the wallpaper and flooring decision but we will figure that out in due time and i'm not even super sure how i'm gonna lay everything out i also hate the pink chair i hate it it's not working should we do white i don't like white either natural let's give her a go we should also get this kitchen out here i think i'm gonna pick white for the kitchen okay this is cute but i have to switch the orientation of um how things are <laughs> actually 
uh, move that over and then this one in the corner, boom. That's a kitchen right there, baby. It's all like really pushed up against the wall right now, but I, I'm just, I'm just gonna move on. I'd like to maybe just put one partition wall up so that I can separate the bedroom. And you already know I'm gonna use the ranch bed. And of course the ranch bed in the pink. The ranch bed in the pink. Yep, the ranch bed in the pink. Okay, that's a lot of um, gingham, jingham. Please leave me alone. I'm doing my best. It is a lot, but I think once we start placing other objects too, it's really, it's not gonna matter that much. I'll go ahead and take this ranch wardrobe out as well, just in case we end up using it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually have room for her. I also would like to say that maybe things are a little too pushed up against the wall. I'm gonna experiment with maybe adding this table to the center of the room instead. That little pillar is cute too. I'm glad that I added that. I think I like it. And then kitchen could probably stand to move over just a little. Ooh, this table is kind of causing me problems. She's a little bit big. Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna change course a little bit here. The table up against this wall. Uh, uh, kind of like a, I don't, I don't think you could call that like a breakfast nook, but it's a nook. And then what if we had this ranch cupboard back here and then a plant in the corner? I'm a plant girl. I like to put plant in the corner. Love it. I love this corner. And I think instead of putting like a little bedside table, I'm going to put the closet here for now. Now, what else do I add? Mm, maybe, maybe a sitting area with a little TV would be kind of cute. Let's see if I can even fit a couch though. I don't want it to be too cramped. I don't like it when the villager houses on my own island, I, you can't walk around. I would rather sacrifice a little bit of cuteness in order for my villagers to be able to actually like use their house. <laughs> it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So this retro TV is kind of calling to me. Instead of using a TV that um, can go on the wall maybe, I'll use the retro TV and then put something in the corner. I love the idea of using this retro TV. Right now it kind of bothers me that the walkway is obstructed, but like, doesn't it look so cute? What if instead I moved the TV to this wall? How much walkway would be obstructed if I did that. Okay, definitely quite a bit. <laughs> ah, it's so tough because it's just, it is so tight. Maybe I have to ditch the retro TV idea and instead put a TV on the wall. Kind of sucks, but you know, you have to save space in some places. And I think it'd be kind of cute to just put one little tiny TV and maybe a piece of art next to it. Floral swag, oh, for sure. That is cottage core, darling. I'll do the colorful variant. How about how about like a little console table or something underneath it so it's not so empty and sad? But it, she is rather large. It's, it's okay. Not the most functional decision, but it is one that I am willing to live with. <laughs> I also think she most definitely needs some bread in the kitchen. And I love this little bread variation because it has little faces on it. Do you see them? I hope that you can see them because it's very worth it. A cherry jam. Cherry jam, obviously these lilies. It's already a lot of pink, I love it. That was the goal, that was the goal. I really wanted a lot of pink in this one. Okay, I've also added this antique radio um, so that we have a little bit of tunage playing. And I grabbed some items that I think could be cool to use, but I need surfaces to put them on. And I also think that a little fireplace is in our stars to use that firewood with. Mm. That or, ooh, brick oven? She's big though. I don't know if she's gonna fit. Okay, never mind. I'm eating my words. She does fit. However, she doesn't leave us much room to do like a lot of other things. I can't find any other place to put these items. What are our other fireplace options? Where do I even find them? We have this wood burning stove in this fireplace. I mean, I don't love the idea of using that entire giant brick oven, but I think I do love a cute little fireplace like that. Yes. Do I like it all up against the wall like that? No. And boom, right on top of there, some planties and some groceries. What is this barrel and box doing? <laughs> I don't think they're doing anything. I don't think that they are going to be able to stay here. Um, so unfortunately they are eliminated. I just don't know if it would have 
fit. Actually, can we do a crate as a side table? <laughs> Why do I kind of love that? Absolutely, that is, that's kind of cute. And now we just gotta find the cutest dang thing to put on top of it. Oh, this is a tough decision. There's a lot of really good stuff in here. Oh, you know what? I wish I had Gail's photo. I will have to come back with a Gail's photo because that, that would have been the thing to add to this build, right? because they're together. All right, I have decided that Gail loves to read, so she's getting the books on top of the box, and then she's got books over there. She's just a book girl. It is rug time, baby. We are pretty close to the end here. I still have to do the walls and then probably change the wallpaper. Oh, lacy rug, yup, yup, wow, yup. That's it, that's the one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the walls and then I'll come back to you. So I have finished all of Norma's decor here, except for a couple things. Something that I always like to add to my villagers' houses is a copy of their favorite song. And I'm looking at the wiki here, it says that Norma's favorite song is Mountain Song in all of the mainline games and KK Stroll in Happy Home Paradise. So I have Mountain Song here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the wall. Where should I put KK Stroll? Like, why not? just add it in. I have a lot of real estate taken up, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put KK Stroll in the corner there, as long as it doesn't look weird. It does look a little weird. Okay, well, let me just, um, hmm, let me change course here a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of these and just have KK Stroll on KK display. Okay, that's nice. And it adds a little bit more color too. I tried to make that corner slightly more colorful in her room. Last but not least, she needs a roid. Norma is a cow. There's no cow gyroids, but there is oinkoid. As a resident oinkoid lover, I am gonna go ahead and give Norma an oinkoid. Okay, this is shaping up to be pretty cute. It's nice and like cluttery and cottage quarry, which I love. I've gotta change this wallpaper situation. The accent wall is kind of what's really killing it for me. And in order to simplify things for myself, let me just go ahead and get rid of the accent wall. But see, it's just, it's just not pink enough. Okay, what if I made the accent wall all of the wall? I'm gonna regret this. Oh my God. Wait, do I? <laughs> it, okay, just like close your eyes for a second and then open them and see, is this the vision or not? I love that it looks super busy, almost too busy, but is that terrible? Uh, maybe there's something that we can do to kind of clean it up a little bit. So the couch doesn't have to be pink. She could be white. Yeah, because that pink, I think, was kind of throwing it off a little bit. This is it. This is the bee's knees right here. I kind of, okay, don't be mad, but yeah, this is this is gonna be the wallpaper that we choose. Now for flooring, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I'm gonna experiment a little bit here and see if there's anything that I think looks better. Oh, okay, we're going darker flooring. Yep, okay. I am absolving myself of any other things that I want to do. I do not want to change anything at all about this build anymore. Um, did I do a good job? I think I did. Uh, it's very cluttered. It's very it's cool. I like that the wallpaper is busy. You know what? It, it It is a decision that I am proud of. I think that she works. And then, of course, we have like all the things that we need. Um, Sans a bathroom. There's no way I was going to be able to fit a bathroom with all of this other fun stuff. I don't think I've ever done a bathroom in a villager house anyways, um, because I want them to have like for sure a kitchen. A little sitting area is nice. And then their bedroom. I don't want them to be like without a bed in their own house. That just, that makes me feel like I'm not not taking good care of them. I love that we actually fit in like a cute little dining nook. Typically I use like a one tile table and then just like one little chair to make it smaller, but like we we did amazing things with this one. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to change anything about the exterior, so this is Norma's new house. I'm so excited and actually it turned out really good in my opinion, in my humble opinion. The wallpaper was an excellent choice, but if you hate it, let me know. It's okay, you're welcome to have an opinion. And if you would change anything about this build, I mean, of course, I expect you to tell me. Friends tell friends when things are ugly and they should redo them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this mini builds. That Stardew video is going to be coming out later this week. I just took so much footage for it. It's taking me a little bit longer to edit and I wanna make sure that it's like, obviously very high quality for you guys. So starting this week, um, I am on Twitch if you'd like to come and hang out with us. My other socials are down below. Thank you guys so much for almost 100,000 subscribers. Again, feel free to subscribe if you're interested. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one.